Hello. So, today we're talking about a bastard child. Um, no, not Justin Trudeau. Laugh track. Um, the MCU slash 2A-P, I think it is. I can't remember. Fuck you, Navy, for thinking of designations like that. And, uh... Fuck you, Army, for allowing to get this thing as far as it did. Um, but yeah, this is the... I'm just gonna call it the MCU. Some people call it Mickey. I have personal religious reasons why I can't call it that. But, um... Yeah. It's out, technically out of service, although I'm sure plenty of people still use them in the armed forces. But for uh, a while, it was the standard issue service mask for the United States Navy and Army. Uh, sorry, Navy and Air Force. It was born out of the XM-30 program, which would have made it for the Army, but the Army said, no, this sucks. Um, and they continued on through the XM-40. I don't fucking know. That's not my job. Um, what I do know is that it has possibly one of the coolest appearances of any mask if you can get over how much it sucks, which is, of course, this tinted visor. And this one was fairly cheap. Uh, you can actually find these for fairly cheap now. The trick is to get one with the visor. Yeah, this one's a little bit scratched up, but it's still okay because you still get the cool fact. Um, functionally, it's not as bad as an M40. In my opinion, honestly, it's a little bit lighter. It doesn't, um, it has its own issues, because obviously the lens will have, wow, I haven't actually looked at that before. <laughs> that is like, uh, fucking covered in dust and yellowing. And probably not airtight, I haven't checked. Um, but the lenses usually have issues. Um, so they're kind of shit. But you get the cool tinted out cert and you're good. Um, not a lot to say on it, obviously. Uh, this is the AP version, so it has this microphone connection. You can put an internal mic on it. I'll hook it up to comms. I think you can actually hook these to sound-powered telephones, but I'm not sure. Um, filter, this filter's on the wrong side. Uh, obviously, made for genetically defective people. Um, drinking tube, it's whatever fucking golden fleece bullshit. Um, I think someone's replaced the in, uh, the nose cup valve on this one at some point, because for some ungodforsaken reason they're green. Um, I don't know if they're supposed to be green, but they just seem a little bit sketch to me. I will say the head harness is rather well, well done. And you kind of get that kind of nice post- M17 malaise from this mask, where it's actually very, like, all the components are decent, except the nose cup. The nose cup fucking sucks, and it'll deform, and it'll just kind of stick like that, because you put it in the carrier wrong. Um, but, I don't know, overall, it's pretty comfortable. It's not a bad mask. It's not a great one. It's definitely not worth the amount of money we spent on it. Realistically, if I was the army in, like, 1980s, whatever, I would just um, fuck man, I just go with the S10, honestly, I just approved the US10, check a couple boxes, save a couple million dollars, use that to go kill more Afghani children in 20 years, I mean, you know, perfect, I don't see why we had to spend several million dollars developing this piece of shit, um, honestly, it's, it's kind of the answer to a question that nobody asked, that's really the vibe that I've always gotten from this mask, is that, Yes, it works, but it's trying to do things that no one really asked it to do. And uh, that's really my two cents on it. I wish I had more to say, but yeah. Uh, oh, the other thing is this is made by MSA, even though Scott designed it, because, again, it kind of proves, it, it, it's proof why MSA is really the best company in America, is because you can bring them the stupidest fucking idea in the world, and they'll still figure out how to make it. Scott can't keep their pants on. You ask them to make something, you leave the room, come back half an hour later, they're jacking off, there's coke all over the table, they've spent $3 million on dildos. MSA, they just kind of quietly chill. I'm sure they have a record of human rights violations somewhere or something. I don't fucking know. But as far as making shitty masks, they can do that. You want them to make good masks? 
Yeah, sure, they made the Advantage series. That was pretty decent. Made the Millennium series. That was decent. <laughs> anyway, Scott Sot. This is MSA. Um, yeah, cool. Thanks for watching, I guess.